Well, hope you had a great Saturday at maybe see 24 meteorologist Corey Smith. 89 degrees is our official high today in Memphis. Any day, I think that starts with an 8 for our official high. A pretty good one for us keeping that heat away. And it looks to remain that way as we go into the next couple of days. We'll be on the warmer side tomorrow. Once again, sunny with a mixture of some clouds. But overall, the trend is going to be a little bit wetter as we head into next week. We'll be watching the tropics for maybe some influences from barrel as that moves towards the mid-south and storm chances look to stick around for a good portion of the forecast. So for tomorrow, we'll go through things here, but not too much going on. We'll have a mixture of sunshine and clouds, temperatures warmer than what we saw today. So thinking low 90s in the afternoon, but we are dry. So no rain. This is already at 9 p.m. and uh, not too much going on. So that morning forecast around 71 degrees around 6 a.m. We're close to 80 by 8 o'clock in the morning, low 80s around 9 o'clock. As you get to the afternoon, a high temperature should peak right in the low 90s. 93 here in Memphis, 94 in Tunica, and 92 in Covington. Sitting at 93, partly cloudy skies in Bolivar. Tomorrow afternoon, if you are going to be out, not too bad. And like we said, that humidity and heat not really causing too much of an issue. So we'll be right around 92, around 3 p.m. 90, though, still around 7 o'clock. And I will say clouds increasing towards the end of the day as our next rain chance starts to move in. And that's where we have to start talking about the tropics. Tropical storm barrel in the Bay of Campeche right now. Uh, currently a tropical storm, but is expected to become a hurricane again. Either Cat 1, maybe a lower end Cat 2 before it makes landfall in Texas along the central Texas coast on Monday and it looks like it will move towards the north and east eventually bringing us the chance of some rain as you get towards the middle of the week. So let's break down what we can expect because at this point pretty much a remnant low. Right now rain totals are, look to be around one to three inches especially north of Memphis over the next seven days. You can see this swath of heavier four to six inches of rain over central and northwestern Arkansas. That's that core of what's left of barrel potentially bringing some rain. This could move out towards the right or the left on your screen. So something we'll be keeping an eye on, but no major flooding threats from this low pressure as it moves through the Mid-South. So breaking down the picture here, we have a stalled front and we will see some rain chances on Monday not associated with this tropical feature. Pretty much with this stalled front bringing us some rain chances on Monday and that's going to direct this storm as it moves inland as you get towards the middle of the week. You can see making landfall on Monday and then as you go Tuesday and into Wednesday, what's left of barrel pretty much a low pressure system is going to bring the chance of some rain. I think for most of us here in the mid south, but especially north of Memphis right now is where models are honing and maybe some of those uh, better chances for some heavier rain as you head though towards the end of the week. I think storm chances stick around. It looks to be uh, potentially a little bit on the wetter side, but that does keep our temperatures down. So 93 is your high temperature tomorrow, partly cloudy skies and we see some scattered storm chances on Monday before the remnants of barrel move through the mid south, bringing some rain shower chances to Tuesday and Wednesday and lower temperatures because of that increased cloud cover and then storm chances isolated to the scattered sticking around through the rest of the week. And maybe the